How's it going everybody? Today I got the parts all out and I'm ready to snorkel the Honda 250 Recon. So let's get started. So we got the Recon pulled in the garage. Again, it's on the original Honda Rancher stocks, which are a bit bigger than the Recon stocks on there. I have a 10 foot piece of one and a half inch piping, which is what I need as the pipe that comes out of the airbox and everywhere else. I have a cup and a little rivet removing tool so I can remove all the rivets to get to the plastics. This piece here, I forget the names of the two parts, so this is going to come up through the plastic or wherever I need it to in order to attach the snorkel to the rest of the piping. And in here, we got a whole bunch of different couplings and glue and pieces to attach the snorkel in various ways, along with, let's see, some foil tape, which is to go around the piping that goes around by the cylinder head so nothing overheats, and some just regular medium strength PVC cement. That's all you need. Other than that, Let's get started. factory drive. Now how do I pull this thing out of here? Gently, of course, but how? Oh yeah. All right, let's see here. So, Kind of dropped that last rivet in there, but that's fine. We don't need it. Here's the old factory snorkel, which came up to right about there. You can see it's got a bit of a little intake there, and then just a regular one and a half inch pipe. Okay, finally, we have got it. So, finally got the pieces to fit in there because I used Schedule 40 piping, which is a lot thicker. It was really difficult to get it to squeeze in, but I got it, and then I put that uh, pipe clamp around it, so it's all attached to the air box. Now, I'm going to glue in my 245s, the other one is around here somewhere, so that I can get it coming out beside the cylinder head. I have this little 2 inch piece of pipe here that I'm going to use to put on the 145, then this will go in the middle of the 245s, and it'll come right out beside the engine, and I'll put the foil tape on at last, because I don't think I'm going to be able to wrap it all while I'm gluing it. So right now, let's glue on those 245s. Got it on there. So that's going to go around the air box. It's coming right out. It's all perfectly length. It is looking great. So now I'm going to get a piece to go from here into here. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so after a little bit more cutting and turning and twisting, I, fit, I cut this piece here. I forget the lengths of all these, but basically I have a longer piece to connect to a 90 that goes up to connect to 145, running along the side here to another 45, but the problem is it needs to be a 60 degrees more of a 45. So I'm going to use, as I have a heat gun over there, we'll see that in a minute, I'm just going to bend the pipe so that way it fits down and it comes in naturally to here. Alright, so I got my piece of pipe here and the vise, and I'm going to see if I can use this heat gun to heat it up and bend it down. Just like that, guys. So I don't know if this is the best. Certainly doesn't look 100%. But <clears throat> once it cools down, it'll hold its shape. And just for air, I think we'll be good. 
Okay, excuse the quality of my workstation here, but I used one of my 90 degree angles to put into the vise because I can't put too much pressure on this piece while I'm putting heat to it. So I pushed down on it, used the heat gun. Doesn't look great, but it'll be fine for the four-wheeler. I'll put some spray paint on it. You probably won't even know it's there. And that's how you make your own little makeshift angle. How pretty is that? It fits like a dream. That is awesome and just what I need. All right, let's get some more pieces, a coupling or so, and see what we can do. I've got some more. I have more 90s hidden somewhere, so. And I think we're almost ready. Let's have a look. So it's glued up to here right now. Father just got home. We'll get his approval just to be safe. And I think it's looking pretty darn good. Comes right up and goes straight in the air. All right, after doing some work, I broke down everything that's not glued. I put tape around all the ends that can't be painted. And we got, let's see, where did I just stick those two cans? Over here, we have two things of Project Source spray paint, just a random brand that I had laying around, nothing sponsored or anything specific. And we're just gonna use it to paint these things black so we'll have a nice looking snorkel on the recon. All right, so I had to get a little inventive on how I can paint these things, it's still raining outside. But I got these things on a little piece of wood I found in the middle. I'm gonna take some spray paint to see what I can do to them. Oh yeah, we're going deep now. <laughs> I'm about six feet tall. There's a good snorkel for you. And zip tied, like the pros do it. It's complete. We now have a Honda 250 Recon with a snorkel. Oh yeah. This is the entire walk around. Since we didn't want to drill any holes, I just ran it up the side of the plastic, along with all the vent lines from the carburetor and the diff fluid in the back. It all fits good, and we'll see if it's watertight soon. Enjoy the recon.